This video is going to go over Minga Hall passes online. So first off, why do we do Minga Hall passes online instead of paper hall passes? Well, for a couple of reasons. One, for the whole school, it lets us know how many students are out at one time on our campus. For the students, it becomes your responsibility for tracking your movement and allowing us to know where you're going. So you will tell us in your hall pass where you are heading and that way we know to look for you. It's also a safety issue for students. It allows us to monitor how many students are out and how many we can allow out at a time. And it also allows us to have groups of students who cannot have passes out at the same time uh, on campus. Also for teachers, it saves them time by reducing the amount of hall passes they create while providing instruction to you. It becomes not a distraction um, for creating a hall pass and having to write a paper hall pass every single time. And for security and administration, it helps monitor student movement at every moment and manage and counsel repeat offenders who overuse their hall passes. Students will be creating their own hall passes through our Minga app. That's where your ID is located and other information about school. Students will go on to Minga and will create their hall pass. You're responsible for creating your own hall pass during your class period. This can be done through either your phone on Minga or your Chromebook on Minga. Your hall pass will show on your student ID with a timer counting down. You do not need to take your phone or Chromebook with you to the destination as proof of your hall pass. All teachers, staff, and security can see a hall pass log online and can verify that you are who you are because of the photo ID through Minga. So again, you do not need to take your phone with you or your Chromebook with you when you're out on campus on a hall pass. So let's take a moment and see how we create hall passes on Mega. Now again, this can be done on your phone. It can also be on a Chromebook. They're exactly the same. Um, I'm gonna work on it through a Chromebook so you can see. First off, what you're going to do is you're gonna go to student tools. Once you click on student tools, you'll see two options, create a hall pass and student ID. You are going to click on create a hall pass. Now here we are, we're Benjamin Baker, and Ben Baker needs to go to North Campus Office. You only get a five minute timer to go to North Campus Office. So as soon as you hit start pass, it's going to start counting down. This is where you might wanna ask your teacher if you can actually go to North Campus Office or to the restroom um, and see it, make sure that they say yes or no. So we're gonna start pass. And you can see on our ID now, I have the location I'm going to and my counter. So now I wanna get up and make sure I go to that location. And again, you want to ask your teacher for permission to leave the classroom first. If your teacher says no, then you cannot leave. If that's the case, then your ID will just, your timer will just lapse. Um, it'll count down and then it will be done. Um, but, your teacher does need to give you permission to leave class before you can actually go to the destination. So if I click off and I wanna see that again, I can click on my ID and it again will pop back up and it will show me my pass that I have. If I need to create another hall pass, I can go here. I can say, well, now I need to go to the textbook room for five minutes. I can start a pass and now I have two passes. That would only be on the occasion if you know like one is about to run out and your teacher told you now you need to go to the textbook room. But as you can see, once you click on student ID, you can see the passes that you have that are active. Teacher classroom rules apply. Minga Hall passes do not dictate how teachers allow you to leave the classroom to use the restroom or to go to the health office, etc. All students must still follow teacher classroom pass rules. Creating a digital hall pass in Minga does not give you the ability to leave class without your teacher's consent. If you create a hall pass and your teacher does not allow you to leave, that's fine. Just leave the hall pass and it will simply lapse in time. Security will be monitoring all hall passes at all times on campus. They will be going to the hall pass log on the security end of Minga and they can see where high traffic areas are with passes on campus. They will be roaming campus and confirming students have active hall passes, so make sure that you create a hall pass before you leave. Again, you do not need to take your phone with you to the bathroom, but you need to make sure that you have an active hall pass while you're there so they can verify and look you up in their system. Should you be stopped by security and found to not have an active hall pass, the first offense is the safety officer will escort you back to class and document in Aries that you did not have an active hall pass. 
The second offense, the safety officer issues a lunch detention, escorts you back to class, and the safety officer contacts your parents. The third offense, the safety officer issues after-school campus beautification, escorts students back to class, and an administrator contacts your parents, and there may be other further disciplinary actions. And the fourth offense, the safety officer escorts students to their assigned assistant principal. Counseling and office staff can also issue hall passes. The counseling department, school psychologist, health office, attendants, and all other office staff are able to create passes for students. Passes can be scheduled for the future as well. Students receive a notification on their Ming account, but if your notifications are silenced or you do not have your phone or Chromebook out, you will obviously not be aware that these passes have been given to you. Therefore, a courtesy phone call will be made from the pass creator to let the teacher know that you have an active pass and need to leave. Please make sure that you have allowed alert notifications for Minga on your phone. Follow these directions on the screen for going into your phones and changing your alert notifications to allow notifications from Minga to happen on your phone. 